Weed control in potatoes is one of the most important jobs that we'll do during the season. Like in other crops, weeds will compete with the potatoes for both light and for nutrients, and this can have a negative effect on yield at the end of the season. Also in potatoes, we can experience difficulties with weeds at harvest time, whereby weeds can block on the web, uh, they can slow down the harvesting process, uh, which we also need to look at possibly uh, extra grading on the, on the harvester as well. So they can have a, a pretty substantial effect at harvest time as well. So when we're applying uh, herbicides to potatoes, the first thing we should do is, is to walk the crop to see what weeds are there. Uh, some growers like to use a generic program across all fields. This can lead to problems whereby we can get certain weeds coming through in the crops because not all herbicides control all the weeds. So before we apply or make a herbicide choice, we should consult uh, a document like the, the uh, uh, Chagas herbicide guide that I have here. So this gives us an idea of all the different uh, weeds that are controlled by the different herbicides. So we consult this first before we make our choice of, of herbicide. When we have our uh, herbicide choice uh, made, then we need to look and see what are the conditions like. So on a day like today where the soil is nice and moist uh, behind me here, this is kind of ideal. We like a good moist soil uh, to apply the herbicide on. Because in the case of potato herbicides, uh, the herbicide choices we have are predominantly pre-emergence and the residual. So residual herbicides need moisture in order to bind with the soil particles and to get into the soil uh, to give best effect from those herbicides. In dry soils, what tends to happen is we don't get the same penetration of those herbicides and the weeds um, grow down below where the, the herbicide um, are, are stationed in the soil and they don't take up the herbicide and they grow through the herbicide layer if you like. So we need to make sure that conditions are good for us when we're actually applying those, those herbicides. Um, and we also need to look at the, the, the potatoes that are there or the crop that's there. So we need to look and see is there any emergence um, of, the, of the potatoes because timing is critical for this. In terms of timing, um, we need to look at trying to get onto the, the, the crop just before the, the potatoes break, break the soil surface. Some, some uh, herbicides can be quite tough on the, on the new uh, crop and they can cause bleaching of the crop before uh, or when they're applied. So we need to make sure that when we're applying those herbicides we cause as little damage to the emerging crop as we possibly can. So in summary, in terms of weed control on potatoes, Timing is as critical, so we need to get on just as the crop is, is emerging. Uh, product choice is also uh, critical, so we need to make sure we're applying the right products to control the, the weeds that are there. Uh, and thirdly, we need good conditions. So moist soils are ideal uh, for applying residual herbicides on potatoes.